We live in a time where video gameplay influences our imagination to the point where it has us spending ridiculous amounts of money on items that we may never use in real life. In conclusion, we fulfill our wildest fantasies by combining them with scripted make-believe scenarios, hoping to get that itch in the back of the cerebellum that we call a brain. Because the thought of doing a three-man team search and rescue in an abandoned 1875 cathedral in Eastern Europe sounds like something you would only see on a Think Through Tactical channel. But nowadays, most of our budget requires us to pay for lawyer fees while fighting off big tech as we slowly sink down YouTube's dark algorithm of lost souls. On the other hand, the final copy is that you get to see gameplay intros on apocalyptic skins. I mean, we've thrived off of flesh-eating rotten host for some years now, and well, you finally get to see the imagination as we peel back another layer in our archives. The opportunity to pick skins plus weapon setups as favorites in the comment section is the design we're targeting so that we can engage more with you guys. Bundling them up together for future videos is our end goal, and starting with the civilian recon loadout, a setup most preppers thirst to acquire before the final siren goes off. You've decided to strip the loadout to the bare minimum in hopes to help those in search of something similar minus the headache. And for those who don't know the obnoxious guy kitted out in a Croatian surplus MK2 gas mask with the track history of reminding people in your local Walgreens pharmacy that the end is near, well, allow me to introduce the breakdown. In a post-apocalyptic world, you'll most likely spend most of your existence on demon time doing midnight raids in search for valuables like food, water, and whatever supplies you can find useful for you and your team. You're decked out in all black, even socks and trousers because owning the night is your biggest advantage including this HRT SWAT-inspired 11.5-inch build. We chose this over the Mark 18 Mod 1 because more barrel length means more velocity, which also equals more dwell time. You're living in a survival of the fittest economy, which means you'll need every advantage you can get. Anything bigger than 11.5-inch, and, and room clearing can become stressful, especially for average Joes like myself. The rest of the breakdown is straightforward, with Geisley's 10-inch MK4 Federal Modular Rail being the exclusive factor. The saying quality over quantity doesn't get overlooked here when the special pieces are in the right place. Meaning with just enough real estate to accommodate a pressure switch pad, you'll have the room to upgrade to an IR laser if you really want to take owning the night to another level. The usual Surefire M300C Scout has become the norm with it featuring on most of our builds you've seen throughout the years. Benefiting from its capabilities with the pressure switch pad, it can give looters a hard time trying to invade allied territories collecting intel during vulnerable hours. One of the main reasons why we find the Holliston 503C Green Dot to hold extreme value in Armageddon times is that not only does it replicate the FBI's Aimpoint T2 model, but for half the price, the 503C's footprint shares similarities with night vision compatible options as well. Living in a world where batteries are scarce and bargaining with vultures on every street corner, having a green dot optic that's solar failsafe along with the multi-reticle system, and you can probably get away with using this as leverage when a scavenger comes up to your block wanting to trade for a SCAR-17 CQC. Now, call me crazy, but having a rad weapon system dedicated for extensive operations isn't even the priority on the list. But don't get me wrong, we all love fancy toys with OG Feral Concepts things attached to them, but when we're talking preparation for solo missions to siphon gas out of a stranded 18-wheeler, the plot twist could be that, I don't know, maybe 65% of the world's population is coated in cordyceps spores and I'm sure you've seen how the script goes in The Last of Us. Now the story doesn't end there, unless your destiny is to turn into a clicker, but the CM7M gas mask from Mirror Safety should prevent you from becoming a 180 pound lifeless piece of mass controlled by the biggest bioweapons dealer on the face of the planet. The tapered profile of the 7M gives you the luxury to operate various weapon systems allowing a tighter cheek weld on heavier munitions. This also allows a better comfort fitting if you're running full protection gear with ballistic or bump helmets. Capable of utilizing a multi-NATO 40mm filter setup, the 7M also gives you the option to attach whatever camelback water bladders that your mission desires. The final nail in the coffin that separates this from the rest of the group is the 7M's incurved binocular field of view. I'm willing to put money on the line when I say that you won't find another gas mask on the market with a field of view greater than 77%, but also with night vision compatibility. Red dots and holographic sights are a luxury, but pairing this with the 7M and a Gen 3 Elbit White Phosphor PVS-14, and there's nothing like going dark when the power grid is wiped out and you're 5 months into a nuclear winter. This makes sense as to why we chose this for the recon loadout because, you know, moons out, goons out. Remember, we're talking about the end of times. With free game roaming around for the other 8 billion people on the planet, the advantages are minimal. So, operating with military grade specs for a gas mask should keep you ahead with potential enemies lurking around every corner. For more info on the CM7M gas mask, I'll have the resources as well as the datasheet linked in the description below. We're topping the recon gear loadout with an item important enough to take up two spaces in your inventory box. 
That's if you haven't already combined it the multiple green herbs found in the courtyard to make some room. The rack play carrier should be a familiar feature if you guys have been following this channel for some time now. Given its credentials in our breakdown video, I chose this to be the foundation because your mission may involve more than taking a rat's tourniquet, some sutures, and a backup 17 round mag on your journey through the Arclay Mountains. The HRT rack plate carrier is designed to diversify your loadout, and it wouldn't be me to not find a source compatible to contain the important medical supplies for voyages through all weather terrain. The dual back panels on the back of the carrier gives me the leverage to fit a whole EMS truck if needed, but it also gives me free range to fit a couple smokes and some chemical gear depending on the application at hand. The front side of the plate carrier can also become flexible as well. If you're desirous to run heavy artillery for the final boss showdown, well, the rack provides the additional real estate along the cummerbunds to accommodate the convenience. But if you're a straightforward guy like myself, then a couple of backup mags and some more medical on the placard will do the job. Ergonomically structured to carry several materials, yet lightweight enough to give comfort is why the rack is the base to my setup. I went more in depth on the plate carrier in a separate video on the channel, so if interested, I have a link down in the description. If you're low on supplies and you're preparing for a looting mission for hard goods in a junkyard run by the biggest crooks in your territory, some additional support may be required. Equipping your loadout with the backup weapon system would be accessible for those events. The Orion Belt by T-Rex Arms is a nucleus tier secondary with volume to attach whatever assets you find necessary for the takeover. Assets like a Glock 17 with an Aimpoint Acro P1 for whenever weapon transitions occur. I'm running the Gambit OWB Universal Holster to give me options to run multiple setups. At the 6 o'clock position is the Haley Strategic M3 pouch with an SOA Rescue IFAC inside. More details on the contents inside the individual first aid kit will be in the description. At the 9 o'clock position is the additional support you'll need before making your way across the hallway because those last shots on the gang of sweepers weren't enough, but thank god for those item boxes in the save room. You'll have time to reload your G17 and SWAT build while harnessing STAC's pistol and 5.56 pouches. Depending on personal preference, you'll be able to arrange the pouches accordingly. The 11 o'clock position is where I'm able to employ various accessories for admin usage, but if you're wanting to channel Crime Position's utility pouch to the best of its abilities, then a 5 round 12 gauge molly insert could be your route if your assignment involves night shift watching around a vacant Walmart during peak hours. But then again, we're no stranger to big buildings with out of business signs around the perimeter, so seeing men with yellow hazmat suits as if they're hiding something shouldn't seem alarming anymore. But if you're needing another reason for undercover operations to find out if there are in fact reptile human hybrids in underground tunnels, a post-apocalyptic recon setup might be the attire for the mission. Just don't get the idea that I'm giving you some mystic recipe to the point where it gives you Randy Savage energy and the end result is that you end up being a part of a gory scene like a Ari Aster film. For more info in regards to any of the items in this video, I have them linked down in the description. I'm gonna wrap this video up. To watch more content like this in the future, click the subscribe button. To get instant updates for the latest PewPew content, click the bell notification icon as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video.